Hey guys, what's up? Here with part two of the fruit makes you fat myth that we have to bust. Fruit's one of the best things you can eat for your overall health. High fruit consumption has consistently been correlated with better health outcomes long term and a better, more stable, normalized body weight. So, the one of the big reasons this myth persists is in fruit, that's where you find fructose. What is fructose? It's part of a sucrose molecule. In fruit, the sugar that's found is sucrose. It's 50% glucose, 50% fructose. What's sucrose besides fruit sugar? It's this, typical table sugar. So people go, well, added sugar, and then they say fructose, and they've heard high fructose corn syrup is bad for you. And there is probably some truth to that if you take in high fructose corn syrup or straight fructose in supra maximal, unbelievably high doses for a long time, which some people do when they were drinking, you know, half a case of Coke a day when it was sweetened with high fructose corn syrup. But it doesn't hold up with fruit in the real world. It's like most things. It's the dose, it's the temporal aspect, the time you're taking that dose, not necessarily the thing itself. So why is that? If we look at sucrose and fructose and where they're found, so we say we have an apple, a small apple, about 101 grams. You're only going to get 14 carbs, you're going to get 2.5 grams of fiber, 11 grams of sugar, and when we break that down, we get about 5 or 6 grams of fructose in this apple. We take Pop-Tarts, which are still sweetened with high fructose corn syrup. Two Pop-Tarts in one pack, that's the serving. You get 68 grams of carbs. You get two of those as fiber. You get 34 of them as sugar. And 16 of those are fructose. Now, that being sweetened with high fructose corn syrup, that number is probably higher. But we're going to give them some grace on this and just say it's 16. So you literally need to eat three of these apples. You need 300 grams of apple to equal the amount of fructose you get in 96 grams of Pop-Tart. When we would compare these on a calorie basis, we're talking under 300 calories total versus 360 for one pack of Pop-Tarts. That's where the problem comes in. If you're eating 2,500, 2,000, 1,500 calories a day. If you're at 1,500 calories a day, you're a smaller woman, well, there's 1,000 calories in three packs of Pop-Tarts. More, you know, you're almost there. And you've ingested 50-some grams of fructose. If you've eaten three of these apples to get, you know, 300 total grams, you're talking about 15 grams of fructose. The liver can easily hold in most people about 50 to 60 grams. So you're not really going to have an issue eating fruit. You're going to easily be able to store it. And if you're active, you're going to use it for energy. It's not an issue. The issue is, again, the choice. It's not fruit. Fruit isn't the problem. It's not the fructose, stupid. That's one of those things that people on certain TV shows and they write certain books and on some of these, you know, like, Natural health websites will say things like this. It's not true. It has a grain of truth, and then they extrapolate all these things from it that we just don't see in the real world. If you want more good information on that, Andy Galpin, who's a professor of bioenergetics at Cal State Fullerton, he has a great YouTube channel that breaks all these things down. He has so many lectures on there. You should go check them out. If you just go there and search fruit, he has a great five-minute physiology on it. It'll explain everything much better than I could. And if you want even more, you can go to examine.com. They do a really good job of making very high info, dense science available for everyone. Um, just search fructose versus glucose versus high fructose corn syrup, and you can learn more about that. So don't believe fruit makes you fat. It's one of the best things you can eat for your overall help, health, and it's one of the best things you can do to help support a weight loss or fat loss diet.